All right, so I'm back, just real quick video, just to show you that the IFTX works on an iPad. Now this is an older iPad, and it does have the lightning adapter. So again, like I mentioned before, you need that lightning adapter to USB camera adapter, and then the USB over to the USB-C that uh, attaches into the QMX. So my QMX set that I built is a 20 meter to 10 meter band, and it's uh, Rev 2, version 2, PCB board, and I'm still on firmware version 17. So I just wanted to let you know that this actually does work on the iPad. So um, I've already made um, a few contacts on here testing it. So I got a, a Canadian station and then four other stations, uh, a couple on uh, 20 meters and uh, the rest are on um, uh, 17 meters. So I'll just uh, come back and um, I'll just show you how it works. I'll call CQ, find an open frequency and then we'll, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm back. So we have Kilo Charlie 2 November Juliet. Yeah, so this is what I'm going to do is I, I have a I have plans next week. Um, some of the plans got changed this week, but I'm have some plans on Monday. Um, I'm going to bring this. Uh, I'm going to use uh, the ITFX, ITFX, the IFTX app um, when I do a Soda Summit on Monday, just to try it out and see how it works after I do my CW operations. Hopefully, this one doesn't time out. Oh, now we got our Rogers. Cool. Cool. Logged. So, yeah, that's it. Um, it's going to go through one more exchange and then it'll be logged. And then I can, uh, again, I'll, you're going to go. I have another video that I did on this. This is just a shorter video just to show that you can do this on an iPad too, which was. Pretty cool. There we go. Logged.